Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for around the first, you know, the full moon energy that's coming in. The timing is fluid. This is just a, a message that I am delivering for the upcoming days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. I have to tell you that you may be, some of you may or may not be, but you may be experiencing some uneasiness. I, you probably are. It's uneasy. It's like you're expecting something. This is the calm before the storm. Things are calm, you know, but you feel this unease. The storm is coming, and it's going to come out of nowhere, okay? The storm is going to come out of nowhere. Let's get started. All right, there it is. Memories of love. The Six of Cups reverse. It fell out and flew out, actually. Six of Cups reverse. So, Six of Cups reverse is freedom from obligation. Packing up, leaving home. Rehab, something about rehab, robbing of innocence. Uh, childhood memories, not so good childhood memories. Somebody's been clinging to the memories of the past. They've been clinging to the past. That's what this energy is about. It's about releasing the past. It's about leaving the past behind. Now, the past could be anything. It's about something that you are remembering that is hindering you in some way. It's eating you. The Six of Cups reverse is also selective memory. Okay, it's selective memory. It's where somebody chooses to only remember what the, the good and forget the bad or vice versa, the bad and forget the good. Selective memory. These memories are going to come to the surface. They are. And perhaps that's what is going to cause the storm. Now, if you think about cups, cups are emotions. And six, you know, is about balance and harmony. This is reverse. Somebody is going to be unbalanced in their emotions because of their memories of the past. And this imbalance is going to cause upheaval, okay? So what do we got? What do we got? There, you know, Six of Cups reverse could be some sort of child abuse or child neglect or child abandonment that can cause all kinds of emotions at any time in your life. Instability. The lovers reverse. Another six. So far we have two sixes. So the lovers reversed is indecision. A separation of some sort, conflict, disharmony. The lovers reversed is disharmony. It is definitely disharmony. It's it's feeling detached. There could be some one one sidedness here. There's uh, a broken relationship, or there's relationship issues. Four of Pentacles reverse. Now, this is opening up. Somebody's been holding it in and they're about to open up. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Now, there's an absence of success here some because all these are reversed. And this is extreme disharmony because of the reversals extreme instability okay there's a big loss here somebody is feeling very very unstable okay they are feeling very unstable and there is instability here now this is a loss of an opportunity or something slipping away the opportunity is slipping away 
Somebody could be, somebody's about to open up. Um, Nine of Swords, this is extremely fed up and exhausted. Extremely. Uh, I can't believe this is happening. That kind of energy. Oh my God. Why did this happen? Uh, there's some sort of illness here, perhaps. It could even be a mental illness. Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. So, this is in regards to a relationship. There is some sort of truth that is about to come out. Which is going to give somebody an opportunity for a fresh start because of this Ace of Wands. And this is just go for it. Somebody is going to take an opportunity to speak up. And they and this is opening up and speak up and I don't I don't know in what way they're going to speak but they are going to communicate and they could communicate in a way that is less than traditional put it that way I feel as though this per somebody is going to get some sort of desire or drive or ambition or vision or sudden desire this is a sudden desire to speak or do something it has to do with a relationship it has to do with a partnership with the past okay and and it doesn't mean that they're going to speak to a person from the past they could that could be the case but it could have to do with memories that are resurfacing it could have to do with abandonment when they were a child neglect okay and this is how karma is it's stuff that we need to deal with Okay, so there is some sort of something from your childhood or the past, whether it's a relationship or not. And there's definitely a relationship here, whether it's with a family member or a partner or whatever. There's some sort of, of, of uh, strife, uh, struggling, uh, mental turmoil. Uh, instability insecurity and somebody has been holding it in and they are about to open up and they are about to speak up or they are about to do something okay three of cups now this uh, balance reversed this is this is the uh, justice card reversed let me get the last card. This is this is karma, which I knew that it was. So this does have to do with karma. Could be past life karma even, but there's some sort of injustice here. Things not turning out as you think think they're going to turn out. This is uh, having fun, getting together, socializing. not turning out as you think it's going to turn out. Somebody may be out drinking, having a good old time, <laughs> and it goes bad. Just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, let's just get another card. Let's get the last card here. Seven of Swords reversed. There's betrayal here. There is betrayal. There's deception. There's envy. There's jealousy. There's jealousy issues. There is. So there's some jealousy issues that are about to be dealt with, okay? They're about to come to the surface. Anger. I think it's anger. Somebody is being very sneaky. Uh, they are planning something, perhaps, or they see something, because this is a vision. They see something with a third party or with another person that makes them jealous, or they get these feelings of envy, because these are feelings and this is envy. They get some sort of feelings that makes them react. There's going to be a reaction here. Okay. Um, and this is like you can't get away with it. You can't get away with it. And if there was a third party or there was cheating or lying or stealing or whatever it was, this, this justice card is reversed. Okay. There's, there's, this is, this is, uh, somebody didn't act with integrity they didn't do the right thing they weren't being honest and they're not going to get away with it okay 
are not going to get away with it. This is getting caught. The law could even be stepping in over the next couple days. Okay? Just saying, because of this Queen of Swords and this Justice card, the, the law could be coming into play here. Um, somebody is going to get a sudden desire. And it feels like it's revenge with the Justice Reverse if, in, in the Seven of Swords. There's some sort of revenge here. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. But, and it could be universal, you know, I'm not sure to say the universe brings revenge, but the universe brings karma and we have justice reversed. Now this is, um, legal losses now, and that's right underneath the ace of pentacles reversed. They're mirroring each other. So there could be a big, huge loss here and it could end up in a legal loss. Okay. It could be the loss of a home or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what could be a friendship. Um, a partnership, a relationship, there's there's a loss here, okay? And it's a big one with this Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's a big one. But this will, this loss does give somebody an opportunity to start fresh. It does. So, I mean, you got to look at it as how it is. Um, this is unfair. It's not fair. This is unfair treatment. This isn't fair. The justice reversed. So somebody may be saying those words. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. I wasn't treated fairly or something like that. Okay. My phone is going off and I don't even know where it is. Anyhow, there's unfair treatment here. Um, there is also some sort of, of disharmony both of these cards and there's going to be a separation this is not getting what you deserve or somebody's not getting what they deserve or they didn't get what they deserved okay <sighs> this is some 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 somebody getting caught they're gonna get get it get it get 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 caught whatever that means this is like danger, danger, dangerous situation. This is an injustice. Hmm. We have a, we have a, we have a separation that is coming. We we do with the lovers reversed. There could be somebody that is moving, or they 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 file for divorce. They contact a lawyer. There's, there could be a third party situation here. It looks like there is a third party. There's a get together. It feels like if somebody could be getting together, they could be partying, drinking, having fun, and maybe their their person sees it and, you know, all hell breaks loose. The party is over, okay? Um, somebody could even get caught cheating. This is getting caught and this is cheating. And these both are cheating. So, you know, I'm not sure what is happening, but it looks as though... Um, there is some sort of uh, communication that is coming, okay? There's some sort of this person is about to open up. They've been holding it in, and they aren't gonna they aren't gonna hold it in anymore. They they aren't gonna hold it in anymore. They have been somebody has been treated unfairly. They have been treated unfairly, and they are about to open up. However, that resonates with you. They could. It feels like that somebody could show up. They could show up at a home and and mess up the happy home, or maybe somebody has said something that messes up the happy home, that causes a broken relationship, that causes a separation. Could be a third party. Could be an ex. Could be a mother-in-law. Could be a stepmother. Could be somebody in law enforcement. Could be somebody in protection services. Could be somebody in the legal system. There is somebody that has some sort of information that um, this is letting go and letting go. You know, this is letting go of a relationship that that you know. Uh, now this could be leaving as well. Somebody may be leaving. They're leaving. 
packing up and leaving home. I think I said that at the beginning. Somebody's probably is going to be packing up and leaving home. They could be even, you know, you know, it feels like there's a lot of regrets. There's a lot of sadness. There's feeling ashamed, uh, feeling less than worthy, feeling less than valuable. Uh, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. You know, that those words are probably going to come out. There's definitely going to be some harsh words that are said, and it does have to do with a third party. It's either a third party family member or a third party somebody from the past. And these, whatever this information is, causes a separation. It causes a separation or a breakup or something like that. And somebody literally, you know, packs up and moves. Or somebody could be getting take, getting uh, ordered by the law to go to rehab as well. I think we've mentioned this recently. They, sh they could be taken to rehab against their will. It's against their will. You know, the justice reversed is like an argument with no resolution in sight. There's no resolution in sight here. There's no uh, opportunity to bring balance because there's a third party. There is a third party. And the third party could be a family member, like I said, or an ex or somebody. There's, there's, there's a third party here which is, is causing uh, an imbalance. Okay? There's lies. There's deception, there's dishonesty, somebody's hiding something, they're not telling the truth, and we have an information, or so, a person that has the information that speaks the truth. This truth changes everything. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. We have Gemini a couple of times. We have Gemini here and Gemini here. Libra, Libra. So Gemini, Libra. Um, oh, the tower. Oh, like here's your storm. Okay, like I said, get ready. Get ready. Get ready for an explosion. Get ready for somebody to explode. Get ready for the foundation that you thought was stable or you thought was secure but was built on false pretenses to crumble and and it's because somebody just decides okay this person just says fuck it and all hell breaks loose good luck 